The heating and cooling system on the Jetta is pretty easy to understand and it's designed to be simple to use without taking your eyes off the road. Okay. All right, now there are three knobs for the basic controls. This one is for heating or cooling and is continuously variable so you can get the exact temperature that you want. This one is for fan speed with four speed settings and this one here is for where you want the air to go. Floor vents, panel vents, or defroster vents, or a combination of those. And this button here turns on your air conditioning and this one recirculates the air in the cabin. Now most people get into their car and they want it to either heat up or cool down as quickly as possible, yeah. right? Yeah, I want AC and I want it now. I hear you. <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand that heating and cooling is not instantaneous. For heat, you have to wait for the engine to warm up. And for the AC, you have to wait for the AC evaporator to do its job. But there is a way to speed up the process. Yeah? How? Okay, well for air conditioning. Now if the inside of your car is hotter than the outside, then go ahead and crack the windows open up a little bit to uh, let some of that hot air out, okay? And then what you're gonna do is turn the temperature to cool, turn the fan speed to about three or four, turn the AC on, and set the airflow to panel vents only. And as soon as you start to feel the air, cool air, then you're gonna go ahead and close your windows and turn on the recirculation button. Mm, so you're recirculating cool air instead of trying to cool off hot air. Exactly, and once you reach the temperature that you'd like, then you can go ahead and turn the recirculation button off and throttle back on the fan speed and you'll be able to maintain that temperature in the cabin. Okay, good tip. Now what about heat? Okay, well now for heat, the issue is that most people turn the fan on too early and it ends up blowing cold air on them, which is worse than having no air movement at all. The best thing to do is drive the vehicle for a few miles with the fan off, giving the engine a chance to warm up. And then what you're going to do is turn the heat setting all the way to high, the air direction to floor vents only, and the fan speed to about three or four. It should heat up pretty quickly after that. Another feature on the climate control that I'd like to explain to you is the window defogging. Yeah, I've done that before where you lean over the dash and you wipe the inside of the windshield with your shirt sleeve. Yeah, not the best way to do it. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Well, the problem is a lot of people use their window defoggers incorrectly or they don't realize that there's the best way to use it. Yeah, what's the best way? Well, if the weather's cold, the best way is to wait for the engine to heat up, but you still can use your defoggers even without the heat. Okay, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to turn the temperature to high, turn the fan speed to about three or four, set the vents to defrost, turn on the AC, and then turn on the recirculation. Air conditioning in winter? As long as the temperature is more than about 42 degrees, yes. That's because air conditioning also dehumidifies the air, so it will still remove moisture from the windshield. Now below 42 degrees, the AC will automatically turn off to protect the AC compressor. Mm. And if it's warm out? Well, sometimes windshields do fog up on a humid morning, so it's basically the same drill. You're going to want to turn the vents to defrost, fan to three or four, and recirc. Now above 42 degrees, the AC will automatically kick on when it's set to defrost. Now in all cases when you do use recirculation, as soon as you've got it to do its job, you're going to want to go ahead and turn that off to get some fresh air circulating in the cabin. Okay, got it. Thanks.